minutes. Hello. What are you reading? Uh, Habakkuk. 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 Also, because he transgresseth by wine, gasoline, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home. He didn't stay in Iraq, he went into Kuwait, took over Kuwait. Who enlargeth his desire is hell, and is as death, and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations. And of course, Saddam Hussein gathered to him all nations, because he invaded Kuwait. And heapeth unto himself all peoples. All those troops are right around him, heaped around him. Shall not all these take up a parable against him, and a taunting proverb against him, and say, Woe to him that increaseth that which is not his, taking over Kuwait? How long will he be there? And to him, yeah, how long? And to him that ladeth himself with thick clay? I don't know what that means. Shall they not rise up suddenly, and shall bite thee, and awake that which shall vex thee, and shall and thou shalt not be... Okay. Because thou hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant... Now this hasn't happened yet, when, when it's wiped out, when it wipes out the nations in that area. The remnant of the peoples shall spoil thee. So, because of Jeremiah 49, when it talks about wiping out everything, the, na the remnant of that people, of the people, shall spoil thee. Chapters 15, 51 of Jeremiah. Because of men's blood, and for the violence of the land of the, and the city, and all that dwell therein. Okay. For the stone shall cry out to the wall, and the beam shall, and the beam of the timber shall answer it. That means like a shockwave, the shockwave of the blast that each bomb hits the house and knocks it out of the wall, the beams out of the timber and everything like that. And the stone shall, you know, the stone of the wall and the beam shall answer. It means fall with it. Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood and establish a city by iniquity. Woe to his son the same. Behold, it is not the Lord of hosts that the people shall labor only for fire, and the nations shall weary themselves for nothing. Mercury and radiation trying to keep alive, radiation sickness. For the violence of Lebanon, the problems that are happening in Lebanon now, shall cover thee, and the spoil of the beasts shall, which made them afraid because of men's blood and the violence of the land of the city and all that dwell therein. Okay. Okay, Habakkuk 3, chapter 3, verse 3. And his brightness was like the light. Now this is talking about, chapter 3 is about Christ coming into the land, but not as a man, as a consuming fire, as an H-bomb. He comes as <laughs> an H-bomb here. Okay, yeah, I'll have to read a little before that. Okay. O Lord, I have heard the speech, and was afraid, O Lord. Revive the work in the midst of the years, in the midst of the years, make known in the wrath to remember mercy. In the midst of the years, I feel, is the midst of the tribulation, so it could be mid trib right now, I don't know. God came from Timon, and the Holy One from Mount Paran, Salah, in Soviet, Soviet Union, I don't know. His glory covered the heavens, and the earth was filled with of his praise, as he's talking about Christ. And his brightness was like the light. He had horns coming out of his hand, and there was the hiding of his power. These could be missiles, and that's where the hiding of his power was. Hidden H bombs, I don't know. Before him went the pestilence. The burning coals went forth at his feet. Okay. He stood and measured the earth, and behold, he yeah, atomic bomb is all it sounds like now, not H bomb. He stood and measured the earth and beheld. He dro and drove asunder the nations. All the nations are going to get it. And s and the everlasting mountains were scattered. So th it's going to be an H bomb after all, because an atom bomb can't scatter mountains like that. The perpetual hills did bow. His ways are everlasting. I saw the tents of Kushan in the affliction and the curtains of the of the land of the Median did tremble. 
Was the Lord displeased against the rivers? Was it thine anger against the rivers? Was thy wrath against the sea that thou didst ride upon thy horse, thine horses, horses of the apocalypse, and thy chariots of salvation? Rapture? I don't know. Thy bow was made quite naked according to the oaths of the tribes, even thy word, Salah. Thou didst cleave the earth with rivers. The mountains saw thee, and they trembled. Fell down, of course, because they saw the, the blast is coming. His H bomb cloud. The overflowing of the waters passed by, the deep uttered its voice and lifted up its hands on high. Um, apparently, an H bomb lands in the Persian Gulf and lifts up a huge cloud of steam. Lift, yeah. Yeah, just, yeah. Lifted its hands on high. The sun and the moon stood still in their habitation, at the light of thine glittering, of thy arrows they went, at the shining of thy glittering spear, shining uh, nuclear missile. Thou didst thrap, thou didst march through the land in indignation, like weapons of indignation. Thou didst thresh the nations in anger. Thou wentest forth for the salvation of thy people, even the salvation of thine anointed, and thou woundest the head out of the house of the wicked by laying bare the foundation unto the neck. Thou didst strike through with his stabs the land, the head of his villages. Sodom Hussein uses missiles to wipe out the villages. They came out like a whirlwind, missiles, blasts, everything, like a whirlwind, to scatter me. Their rejoicing was as if to devour the poor secretly. The missiles are hidden secretly. I mean, the, the nuclear power behind it all. Thou didst <coughs> walk through the sea with thine horses, horses of apocalypse, through the heap of great waters. When I heard, my belly trembled, my lips quivered at the voice, rottenness entered my bones, and I trembled in myself, that I might rest in the day of trouble. When he cometh up unto the people, he will invade them with his troops. Okay, although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall fruit be in it, in the vines, the work of the olive shall fail, and the field shall yield no food, the flock shall be cut off from the fold, and there shall be no herd in the stalls. That means the radiation is going to contaminate everything. Yet, I will rejoice in the Lord, I will, I will join the God of my salvation, the Lord God is my strength, and he will make me like hinds feet, whatever, whatever that means. And he will make me walk upon my high places to the chief singer on my string instruments. So when he dies, he'll go to heaven, in other words. Okay. <clears throat>